If you've ever wanted faster target acquisition, easier 100 yard shots, and the upper hand in low light situations with your handgun, stick around because today we are going to give you a very quick look at two affordable pistol red dots from Vortex. What is up guys, my name is John with PewPewTactical.com, your definitive source for gun reviews, gear guides, and all things that go bang. Now while there is certainly something to be said for nailing the fundamentals of handgun handling before you go tricking your gat out, you may find that adding a red dot to your pistol is going to decrease your take up time and allow for faster follow up shots. We're focusing today on two options from Vortex that in our opinion are going to be the best bang for your buck out of all of the pistol optics that we've tested. But as always, you can peep the description below for a link to the full article where we've mounted a few more red dots on several pistols and rifles and run thousands of rounds through them. With all of that out of the way, let's get into it. Up first is the Vortex Venom. Weighing in at just 1.1 ounce while still retaining an overall feel of quality in hand, the Vortex Pistol Red Dots feature useful brightness adjustment buttons on the left side of the optic that offer a nice soft click when depressed. For size comparison, the Vortex Venom is with a battery life of anywhere from 150 hours at the brightest setting and up to 30,000 hours at the lowest, you can rest assured that you'll likely only have to swap this battery out once or twice a year tops. Pressing and holding the brightness increase button for three seconds activates an auto brightness feature that will set the dot to an appropriate level of brightness based on the ambient light detected by the optic. Additionally, the Venom features an auto shutoff function that will engage after about 14 hours of idle time, making it suitable for CCW use if you're the type of dude that feels compelled to have a really high speed handgun down the front of your jeans. It should be noted, however, that even the dimmest red dot setting was still too bright for use under night vision. While the Vortex Venom doesn't fit onto pre-milled slides designed for the Trigicon RMR, it does work with the Glock MOS, M&P Core, and FNX45 systems. If you have a factory slide, there are dovetail adapter units, such as this outer impact plate, that will fit almost all red dots. Vortex pistol red dots generally include a very low profile Picatinny mount if you're trying to attach the optic to a rail, which offers one of the smallest profiles of any of the red dots we tested when attached thusly. It should be stated that the Venom is a bit of a newer design that offers a few improvements over the older Vortex Viper, such as including a top-loading battery feature, and is offered in either a 3 or 6 MOA flavor to the Viper's hard 6 MOA. The top-loading battery feature lets you swap out your batteries without losing your zero, and if you're looking at engaging a lot of targets up close, we recommend the 6 MOA dot model, while the 3 MOA model is more suited for accurate distance shooting. The only potential downside of the Venom as compared to the Viper is the fact that it runs on slightly less common CR1632 batteries as compared to the Viper's CR2032s. But considering the fact that they are about the same price, in our opinion, you may as well go for the updated design of the Vortex Venom. Additionally, both optics do come with Vortex's legendary lifetime warranty, and we imagine that you'll be happy with either option. All right, guys, that's going to do it for us today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this content, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel as we've got lots more reviews on the way. Once again, my name is John with PewPew Tactical, and we'll see you next time.